All right, welcome to part one of the how to back up your Synology data to Microsoft Azure videos. This will be a two part. The first part will be the Azure side and the second part will be the uh, Synology side. So to start from your Azure homepage, you're gonna go down to storage accounts and you're going to add a new storage account. Select your subscription, select your resource group, or create a new one. I'm going to create test resource group. Sorry, to create a new one, you select create new, and then hit name it. All right, storage account name is just going to be test storage account. Select your region, oh, it has to be unique. Test storage account 9911. Location, I'm going with West US 2 because I'm in the West US and West US 2 tends to be cheaper. Uh, for this, you do not need premium performance. Uh, you're more than likely gonna be bottlenecked by your upload speed anyway, so don't bother. Uh, storage uh, V2 general purpose is fine and I'm gonna go with locally redundant. Uh, make sure to select cool as, unless you are planning on downloading and accessing these backups on a very regular basis. Cool will be much cheaper for you. Um, at this point, you're gonna to go to next. You can go through the advanced options if you'd like, if you have any requirements to do so. Um, you can add tags to it if you have a very large uh, Azure account and you wanna be able to tag things otherwise you can just review and create and then click create so while it is uh, deploying we will go back to well, it usually only takes a second so there we go it's accepted Let's go back to our storage accounts. There we go, test storage account. So you're now gonna select this, and you're going to go to access keys. This is what you're going to need to take note of, storage account name and key one. You'll need those in uh, Synology to set up the backups to Azure. All right, that's all for this video. So go ahead and take those down, note down somewhere, and uh, I'll see you in part two.